Hey there, Commanders. We've got a live one this week. Not the most exciting activity as things go. It's another commodities delivery community goal. However, the commodity in question is Meta Alloys, which at the time of recording are not readily available as a commodity. They are treated as a commodity by the economic simulation, and that means these things occupy cargo space, which also means that the way that you're going to collect them will be just a little bit different than when we're collecting engineering materials, for example. Uh, let's see. This is the Inara report on current availability of meta alloys in Elite Dangerous. There's only one or two stations in here at a time when there's not high demand, but as you can see, the stations that offer meta alloys to be purchased have already been cleaned out, which is to be expected with a community goal like this. Even when they are stocked, I don't think they ever really climb above a thousand units of available commodities at any given moment. So um, it's not wise to rely on the economic simulation to provide these. The best way to get meta alloys is to go out to a Thargoid barnacle forest and just scrape them off of the uh, little spines that grow out of the ground. Now, as far as rewards go, corrosion resisted cargo racks. These are not what I would consider to be a hot ticket item under normal conditions. They're a very powerful utility if you're going to do Thargoid related content. I know a lot of guys in the AXI who keep one of the smaller corrosion resistant racks so they can collect Thargoid hearts or other incidental things as they're going about their different fights. I keep a small stock of Thargoid hearts on my carrier for potential future unlocks should they become relevant. The idea of having a larger corrosion resistant cargo rack is kind of new since the 4A has been the most anyone's ever needed. Um, for any practical considerations, when I've gone out to do Thargoid related content, I've done it in a Colbert 3 and just um, used its 4A optional internal and um, been pretty satisfied with the results there. I think I've got one or two Thargoid hunting ships that have a corrosion resistant rack that mostly just holds limpets but it offers me the ability to scoop other potentially corrosive cargoes that come up during those fights, as I mentioned earlier. So they're useful in the small scale, but to have something like a 6A corrosion-resistant cargo rack, which is four times the capacity of the 4A, uh, is interesting. It makes me wonder what exactly it is we're going to be collecting in the upcoming community goal that it references here, uh, where commanders who possess these larger cargo racks will have a distinct advantage. I like this as a tactic because it means that performance in this community goal directly affects performance in the next one. So the linked incentive means that I have to recommend this as a community goal if you are interested in Thargoid related content. If you don't really care about the Thargoid plotline or any of the other relevant stuff and you want to be combat focused, this probably isn't your goal. I, however, am planning on participating over the weekend, the first time I've participated in Geez, I think it's been a month and a half since I've actually gone in and, and found the time to uh, do some community goal-related activities. But it happens this weekend that um, I actually have the time to be able to give. So uh, I don't know. We'll see if I can make a video out of that. Unfortunately, this activity is so boring that um, there's not a lot to make a video out of. As for the actual gameplay... There's a couple of different resources that you can go to learn about how meta alloys work mechanically when you're trying to scoop them. Um, Exegius is one of the major YouTubers who's already put a ton of effort and high production values into teaching people how to get these alloys, so I'm going to refer you to him rather than ramble on about my particular take on the topic because the, the collection loop is so straightforward, there isn't really any special way to do it. You just need an SRV bay and enough cargo capacity to suit your fancy. There is a nuance with these Thargoid barnacle forests in that they are dynamically generated in many instances, so they're integrated into the terrain. Depending on what forest you go to, you might find them down inside a canyon or up on a flat plateau. I believe Exegius points you to one of the plateau style ones. Now, the uh, meta alloy forest that I'm planning to hit is actually this one that Canon Research has provided. It's out in a barnacle field near sector PN uh, T. B3-0 planet A5. This is far enough away from charted space that you probably want a fleet carrier or an anaconda. Well, an imperial cutter probably does okay, provided you're willing to put a fuel scoop on it. Um, but there's a lot of jump range involved in here, so if you're not using a fleet carrier, the logistics get a little bit more complicated. But this one's got a nice good spread, and I'm uh, anticipating that I'll be able to get probably a you know, two dozen per run. Now, 
it's actually not hard to completely exhaust one of these barnacle sites by yourself over the period of an hour. And the strategy if you do that is to board flip, which just means log out and log back in to refresh the instance and you can basically just keep going until you've filled your cargo hold. Do this a couple of times and you'll have secured a pretty hefty spot in the community goal. Now, as far as participation, we've got 511 contributors and they're pushing the threshold pretty high. If you want to make top 10%, which is what's required to get the size 6A corrosion resistant cargo rack, then you're going to need to collect somewhere in the high 700s in order to secure an entry level position. Although the way these things go, I'm probably going to shoot for between 800 and 1000 tons of meta alloys, just to make sure that I don't get bumped out over the course of the week as this thing progresses. And I am anticipating that it will progress uh, reasonably well. We are already in tier 5 of 6, which means we're in the, f the final floating tier that's going to probably run the rest of the week. Estimated completion is 6% in 5 days, so this is probably not going to come to completion unless FDEV adjusts the threshold down. Um, if, however, the threshold does get reached, whatever it ends up being set to, then this thing ends immediately. So there is a risk of missing out if you wait until the second half of the week, which is why I'm trying to knock as much of this as I can out over the weekend, just to make sure that I don't get pinched off. So the uh, good news is if you're only interested in the 4A corrosion resistant cargo rack, then you only need to put up you know about 50 tons to secure a position. Problem with that is the 4A is actually available from the tech brokers. And if all you care about is getting the 4A, then you're probably better off just hunting down all the blueprint materials to purchase it from the tech broker, because once it's unlocked there, you can buy as many of these as you want, provided you've got the credits. The 5A is not terrible, 108 to 612 tons of cargo. So to secure a good position there, you'd probably want you know, 200 to make sure that you're not going to get completely ditched. And if you really want to be safe, probably 300. But I'm not that kind of guy. I'm going to see if I can try to get top 10 so that I can get this 6A because I can imagine that it will be... I can imagine the advantages it will provide in whatever is going to come up next are going to be significant. So it's probably good to have in your back pocket if you're interested in participating in any of the upcoming goals. Let's see. I think that's uh, just about everything on this one. Uh, so I will catch you guys later.